First point goes to Ovcharov. Ovcharov able to beat Bastian Steger early on today. That match at 1 p.m. 7-11-11-9-11-8-11-7-7-11-11-8. And that match took 57 minutes as well. And it wasn't too long ago. Could well play a factor in this final as well. Samsonov having his semi-final earlier on at 11 a.m. Samson have also taken on quite a long journey against Jonas. 4-11, 9-11, 12-10, 8-11, 11-7, 8-11 in 55 minutes. Best shot so far, and it comes from Vladimir Samsonov, Mr. Champions League, as he's known. So, 7-3 in favour of Obcharov after the opening 10 points in this final. Oh. And so Obcharov now starting to take a very firm grip on this opening game. And that was a very nice shot from Ovsarov. 9-3 he leads. Nothing Samsonov could do about that one. That wasn't too far away from landing on the table. Don't think he intended that, but it almost came off for him. So, six game points here for Avtorov in an impressive start to this final. And there it is, Ovtarov takes it at the very first attempt as well. 11-4, a very good start for Dmitry Ovtarov in the final. He takes the opening game, 11-4. And Ovtarov really has been the star of the singles tournament so far. We know he's a talented player, he always has been, but seems to be lacking the quality on the big occasions up until this year. He really has come on leaps and bounds in 2013. 
this, of course, his first final of the European Championships. Won bronze in his first ever tournament back in 2007. And was unable to repeat that success after that, but now he has the chance to take the gold medal. First point this time goes to Samsonov. He, of course, needs to play a lot better in this second game. That's the opening four points, 2-2. Two, two. Between these two players, Samson of the number two seed, of Trav, the number one seed. And those are the kind of rallies we can expect to be seeing a lot more often as this match progresses. Six points played, 4-2 in favour of Dimitri Avtorov, and he is looking very, very focused out there on the table. Has been all tournament. He was a very important player for Germany in the team event as well. And Samsonov unable to keep that one under control. And he has a little look up to the heavens as well as he takes a little walk around the table to try and refocus. Trailing 5-3 here in the second game of the men's final. Samsonov this time getting five points on the board. So he goes one better than in the opening game. 5-5 five, five after the opening ten points of game number two. Yeah, and we 
can expect to be hearing a lot more of those kind of cheers from Avtorov as this match progresses as well. Very vocal in his celebrations. And again, just too powerful for Samsonov. Samsonov, a three-time European champion. Avtorov yet to get his hands on a gold medal. But this may well be his year. He leads 7-5 in the second game, 1-0 in games as well. Samsonov getting very fortunate there. Taking a mean bounce and then he did well to return it. That's a very bad mistake to make at such an important time in this second game, and it is four game points for Avchalov. <laughs> uh, Samsonov doing well to save one. Still three more game points for Avchalov here. And he takes it at the second attempt, 11-7 in the second game. And Ovtorov has a 2-0 lead against Vladimir Samsonov. And the Belarusian has a lot of work to do here as he trails 2-0 against Dmitry Ovtorov in the men's singles final. Just 13 minutes have been played so far. A lightning quick start from the German here. And Vladimir Samsonov finds himself with a lot of work to do if he's going to get anything back in this match. First point goes to the German. Also we get Samsonov here trying to prevent Germany from getting a medal in their fourth event. Already have gold in the team events and now in the 
Women's doubles. Yo, come on! Samsonov perhaps could do with a timeout or something here. Tactics at the moment not working for him. taking the faintest of touches on the table. Not much of a touch on the table there, but the point still goes to Ovchov. Four points play, three, one the score. Samsonov is finding it very and very hard to deal with Ovchov at the moment. 5-1, this is really, really effective and efficient stuff from the German. One. Now the score as Ovchov goes in search of that ball. Seven points played. <gasps> and this really is impressive stuff from the German. Samsonov has no answer for him at the moment. The Belarusian letting out a huge sigh of despair there as well. 7 1 the score for Avchov after eight points. Mm. And a respite there for Samsonov as he at least gets a second point in this third game. 7 2 now the score in favour of the German. Are we going to see a Samsonov comeback here? He trails by four points. Ovchov needs four more to take a three game to love lead. been called by Dmitry Ovchorov. He was well in control of this third game, leading 7-1 before three points in a row from Samsonov made it 7-4, forcing Ovchorov to call a timeout. It's going to be difficult here, I think, for Samsonov to get back into this match. He trails 2-0. Ovchov playing very, very efficiently and effectively at the moment. Those three points from Samsonov have perhaps given him a little a glimmer of hope in game number three. But still has a long, long way to go. Of the folding his towel up nice and tidily as he always does. One of his trademarks, superstition of his, always needs to fold it before he puts it back into the towel bin. Four. 
The timeout not having an effect. 7-5. Twelve points played. Samsonov throws his towel back down without any kind of order. Alcharov folding it right back up again. And so Samsonov He's unable to win his fifth point in a row as Ovtarov makes it 8-5 and ends that little comeback from the Belarusian. <laughs> and now we can just sense perhaps that Ovtarov is starting to maybe doubt himself. 7-1 and now 8-6. And this is exactly what Samsonov needed in game number three. Just needs to give Ovtarov that little bit of disbelief. This match, this game, this sport, all about mental strength as much as technique. And Samsonov now making it 8-8 eight, eight in this. And has developed into a very intriguing third game. 7-1. Dmitry Ovtarov led. And it's now 8-8. Eight, eight. And Samsonov with the chance to take the lead for the very first time in this match. And he takes it as well, Ovtarov stepping further and further behind the table. And now we're going to see what metal Ovtarov is made of. Ten eight, and this has been a wonderful comeback from Vladimir Samsonov. Ten eight, two game points for him. A wonderful stuff from the Belarusian. That's why he has won this tournament on three occasions. And perhaps reaching the end of his career at the top level, but he still is a wonderful, wonderful. Player. One game point saved by Ovtarov, still one more left for Samsonov to make it 2-1. Game point saved by Ovtarov and Victoria Pavlovich, the former European champion in the women's event, the Belarusian, watching on from the stands as well, cheering on Vladimir Samsonov. She'll be hoping that Samsonov can at least keep one gold medal in Belarusian hands. Pavlovich losing yesterday in the quarter final. And Ovtarov now showing that he has the character to become a European champion. Three game points saved here. And now he has his first game point. Oh, and he does it in style as well. 12-10, fantastic fight back from 
with Vladimir Samsonov there as he went from being 7-1 down to having two game points to make it to one. He didn't take them. Ovtrov keeping his nerve and showing he has the quality to become a European champion as he makes it 3-0. 12-10 in the end, but that was a nervy, nervy game there for Dmitry Ovtrov. It looked like he was going to lose it. Didn't let the occasion get to him. Kept his calm and took the game. 3-0 then for Ovtrov here in the final of the men's singles tournament. One more game left. A one more game separating Dmitry Ovtarov and that gold medal. First point goes to Ovtarov and with every point he will be getting closer and closer to that gold medal. 25 minutes played in this final so far. And Samsonov now knows that he has to win the next four games to take his fourth European Championship. Just like in the first, second and third games, it's a 3-1 lead for Ovtarov as a timeout has been called by Samsonov. The Belarusian finding himself in a very difficult situation here. 3-1 he trails in the fourth game and 3-0 he trails in games as well. And he is staring at a 4-0 defeat here and that will not be what he wants to go out on here in the final. The next match on table one will be between Fenley and Jonashan. That will be in the women's final. And so Samsonov only taking 40 seconds of the allotted minutes. As they both return to the table very, very quickly. 4-1 for Ovtarov. And then we see Bartel having a chat with Apollonia in the stands. Six points played, 5-1 now the score for Ovtarov. And this one turning into a very one-sided contest in the fourth game. Samsonov was in a similar situation though in the third game. He went on to almost win it. So he's not dead and buried yet. Point should really have been off to 
jumping in on that one. Full force behind it. Perhaps just a little off balance. 5-3 the score after the own blink. Eight points. And the longer the rallies go on, the more likely it seems that Ofchov is going to win it. Showed that there as well. So Samsonov has been able to win four of the last five points as he makes it 6-5. He was training 5-1. Oh. Yeah. Artrov, though, able to keep at least a two-point advantage here. Four points away now from taking the gold medal in the men's singles event. There will be another medal for Germany. They've won the team event in the men's and women's. They have won the women's doubles as well. And after I've now four points away from the men's singles. Oh, a lovely, lovely shot. 8-5. Samson off there just doing exactly what he needed to do. Sending the power of Ovchalov's shots back to him. 8-6 the score. Ooh, and then there's another service error from him. And that is not what we are used to seeing there from Vladimir Samsonov. He is now two points away from a 4 0 defeat in the final. Better this time, 9 7. Of course, it would be great from a neutral perspective if Samsonov were to at least get one game on the board here and give his fans here something to cheer about. Two points in a row from Samsonov after that service error. Reduced the deficit to 1.98 in favor of Avchalov. Two points needed for him to take a 4-0 victory in the men's singles final. Wonderful point there from Ovchagov. And it's given him two match points, two gold medal points here. He was on the back foot. He turned that one around. 18 points played, 10-8-4.
the German. Two gold medal points, two match points here for Dmitry Ovsharov. Can Vladimir Samsonov save them and force a fifth game, or is Ovsharov going to win his first ever gold medal at a European Championships? Two points, two chances here for Ovsharov. And there it is, he takes it at the first attempt as well. 11-8 and Ofshrub wins the final 4-0. That was very, very impressive. Ofshrub beats his Orenberg teammate Vladimir Samsonov. 4-0 and he's up on the table. The new European champion, Dmitry Ofshrub, congratulations to him. He was by far and away the best player in the tournament only really tested earlier on today against Bastian Steger just dropping three games over the course of the tournament as well and he is the deserved European champion gold medal winner 2013 Dmitry Ovtarov commiserations have to go to Vladimir Samsonov in the end he just wasn't good enough and Ovtarov gives his girlfriend a little bit of a kiss as well She's happy. And so there it is. The decision has been made. Ovshirov is the gold medal winner in the singles. And we have the women's singles coming up at 5 p.m. in around 20 minutes. Fenley against Giona Shan. So please do not go away.